Hey, it's Jeff Salzenstein here, founder of Tennis Evolution, and I want to bring to you another video where we're going to show you how you can practice better, practice smarter. And some of the things I'm going to point out in this video with a student who sent this video to me is these are common themes that I see. This is not just isolated to this player. Okay, so when I point these out, keep in mind there's a good chance you might be struggling or not focusing on the right things when you're practicing. Now, this player is on the ball machine and he asked me to watch him hit on it. So even though he's not playing points, he could actually focus on doing the right things when he's out there. And so what, what I want you to notice is, first of all, is there's no split step. Okay, so this is common. I see a lot of players, even though we talk all about the split step, balls coming, no split step at all. So the number one thing this player has to do is he has to work on his split step every time. You can see here, there's just no split step. Okay, so that's number one. Let's move on to the next concept. So that's actually a good one to pay attention to. So I see this a lot with club players as well is positioning in the court. Now we can't see how deep he is on the baseline, but watch this first move with his feet. You see he moves back. So he actually could be positioning himself right in this area of the court here, and then when the ball comes, he could actually move forward. So I see too many players moving back with an incoming ball when they could actually position themselves deeper. And I think this is stems from coaches over the years telling players to take the ball on the rise and take the ball early. Well, that's fine and dandy unless you're finding yourself moving back when you hit the ball. Let's watch this ball. See, even this one, there's a drop step and he's moving back. He could actually get his weight going forward on this ball. So already in the first four shots, I've seen a lack of split step and I've seen moving back instead of moving forward. So you must position yourself deeper in the court so that you can move up on the next shot. Let's see what else we, we can notice here. Okay, so what I want you to notice is the first move here. So I've talked about this in other videos, but look at this off arm. See how bent it is? So he's going to be too jammed, and, and uh, you can see he's even moving back on it. Look how he's jammed on that ball. That elbow is in, and it all starts from that first move. We want to get that arm straight out across the body, okay? And then, and then notice how this arm actually drops away. It drops away and he's really jammed. And this player has complained to me about feeling jams on his shot. So he's got to work on his first move. So it's as simple as one, two, three. When you're practicing on a ball machine, make sure your split step, make sure that your positioning is back further so that you can move up on your ground strokes. And number three, make sure you create enough space when you make your first move so that you can have space when you contact the ball. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I've got a free gift for you. Learn three singles strategy myths that most players are making. I don't want you to fall for these myths. You can click the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up because when you do, it helps us. It helps the channel. It spreads the good word about what we're doing at Tennis Evolution. Please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are turned on. Again, Click the link in the description below to get that free gift and learn the three single strategy myths that most players are making. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's get better today. Let's get better tomorrow. We'll see you at the next one.